Kong Skull Island is movie directed by Jordan Vogt Robertson, Roberts, 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 not Robertson, starring Tom Hiddleston, Brie Larson, John C. Riley, Samuel L. Jackson, John Goodman and many other great actors. And when you see and hear about a stellar cast, you think, oh my gosh, this is gonna be a dialogue, character driven movie. Well, it's not. Great thing about this movie is Kong. King Kong is just unbelievable. Action set pieces are incredible. The monsters that we see are unbelievable, like the weird, I don't know, buffalo thing, then the octopus, then the dinosaurs, the skull crawlers, Kong himself, even though he's not full sized yet, because they mentioned that in the movie, he is amazing. Whenever he's on the screen, I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. But we get to the characters that, in my opinion, they were lacking something, like, oh, uh, something, uh, I don't know, I just didn't believe their motivation, except John C. Riley's character. He's a man who crashed his plane in World War II, landed on this island, and he's now here for 30 years, and the other people, found him on this island right now because uh, now is this movie is set in 1973 like after the Vietnam War and the last mission uh, for some soldiers that are in this movie is to escort some researchers to researchers yeah to this island because they think that monsters exist yeah that was pretty rough and weird explanation, but that's pretty much the movie. And like I said, it monsters are unbelievable. I think this is, and I like the Peter Jackson's Kong, uh, King Kong, and I like the original one, but this is like, this was perfect. When I saw Kong in the trailers, he was unbelievable, but when you see the movie, it's incredible. All over the, he, he's amazing. He's amazing, unbelievable, so believable, and that's the problem that I, that I had with characters. They were not believable. You have Brie Larson, uh, an Academy winner, and, and Tom Hiddleston, also great actor, and there's there was a lot of staring. Whatever they said didn't didn't had any uh, didn't have anything meaningful, they were just there. Then you've got Samuel L. Jackson, who is a crazy soldier, and uh, he just try he wants to kill King Kong, or Kong in this um, movie. Well, he is a king of the island, but they are referring to him as Kong. And he tries to kill the ape, and every animal in this freaking island. And he's just crazy because, yeah, the war messed him up, I think. But I didn't believe it was Samuel L. Jackson. If you know his work, he was playing himself, like he always did. And I didn't believe that. Then you've got John Goodman, who is the boss of this monarch com company that, uh, that research about these monsters and islands. And he was there because when he was younger on a ship, some monster destroyed the ship and he was only survivor and he wants to like kill the ape as well or kill the or just tell them that the monsters are true or that they exist or something yeah and then you've got some soldiers that are just put put in the film I, I, I am mumbling and I'm still don't I still don't know what was the character's motivation. The only one that I liked was John C. Riley. It it seems like he wrote his own dialogue because he was the only one funny. Uh, he 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 was meaningful. I get him. He was there trapped and now he wants to escape with them and he still wants to help. Uh, uh, Kong because he like he is like a, I don't know he is protecting the people that live on this island because they some of them do like there's a whole nation of uh, people there that help John C. Riley's character to survive. Uh, so yeah, it's 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 a movie that I'm not blaming the direction. I'm not blaming the characters or uh, actors because I think they did everything that they could 
in their power, but the script was, I, I don't know, something went wrong with this movie, if you ask me, only my opinion, because, yeah, it, it was, King Kong was epic. Then you've got characters that were walking around, sometimes shooting, sometimes just staring at nothing or just telling stuff that are not important to the movie. So yeah, this movie is like, it, it, it is entertaining, it is fun when Kong is on the screen, when people are, if no, uh, no monster appears, like it's, it's not, it's dragging, it's boring, unfortunately, but because Kong is so good and all the other animals or monsters, however you want to call it, this movie, you, you have to see it just because of that, because Kong is really, really good. And one more thing, I almost forgot, there is a post credit scene, it's like one or one minute and a half long, and yet Monsters Universe is happening, because this was the second movie to the Monsters Universe, the first one was Godzilla from 2014, now we've got Kong Skull Island, what's next? I don't know, but in the post credit scene, we see a lot of new monsters, some weird moth thing, then you've got a freaking Hydra thing, then you... There's a lot, and I hope they make these movies, but make characters better, more believable, meaningful, because this is the only problem that I had with this movie, is that the characters were okay, they were there. If they wouldn't be there, I would be okay, because Kong was so epic, it's the same in Godzilla. If you ask me, Godzilla is the best part of Godzilla. Yeah, and she's not a lot in the movie. I, I don't get it, but Kong was a lot in this movie and that was the best thing about this movie and my lie just died, I don't know why. So yeah, post credit scene is there, so wait the credits to roll. And yeah, the movie is watchable, it, not watchable, I, I, that was too harsh. It is fun, it, it is entertaining. You can go through the, all the mishy-mushy dialogue that just doesn't make sense to me and because the Kong is so epic. Watch it for the Kong because he is unbelievable. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, hit that subscribe button, share the video all over the place, tell me in the comments down below what you think about this Kong Skull Island movie, was it good, was it not, do you agree with me, do you not, tell me everything I wanna know, and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, hit that subscribe button, share the video all over the place, and I'll see you next time. Bye!